Hey guys, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this quick fun tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this ocean ripple inspired text effect. So you don't actually need anything in the background. This can just be done on a text layer. In order to create a text layer, you can just grab your type tool and just click on your program window and type out whatever you want. In the essential graphics panel on the right hand side, here's where you can adjust the size, font and color and all of those information about the text. But the fun part about this effect is that we're going to be using a mask to only affect the bottom half of the text and distort it. So I've done in previous tutorials, uh, if you want to do like a wiggle text, just opening up the effects panel in, in the distort video effects folder. Wave warp is a great one just for like a general ripple, like a general like wiggle type of text. If you increase the wave height and the wave width, you can play around with the strength of it and also the speed of it. This is all in the effects control panel. You can control all of these parameters. But an interesting thing that you can do that I haven't touched on before is you can add a mask onto these effects. So although wave warp might work, I'm gonna actually do this with the turbulent displace effect which is similar but different. So I'm gonna add this onto the text layer and I'm going to change a few things about it. So the size, I want to make it smaller. This is kind of water ripples will probably kind of be more small like this. Uh, the difference between the turbulent displace, one difference between this and the wave warp is that it doesn't automatically animate. So however long your clip is, you are going to want to adjust the evolution of it. So if I just add a keyframe, by clicking on this stopwatch icon, it'll add this diamond keyframe. We can begin at zero, and then if we just go to the end of the clip, we can make it go, you know, one or two full rotations. Depending on how fast or slow you want it, you can adjust how many evolutions it does. And this will give you an animated ripple. So this is what it looks like actually at, at eight evolutions over about 14 seconds. You can see it's a slight, it's kind of a cool watery ripple effect. And another thing that you can do is change the type of displacement. So that's just turbulent, but I can do things like horizontal displacement. And in this particular case, to kind of add a more advanced touch onto this, I can click on this square mask under the turbulent displace effect, and we can mask the effect so that it only takes place on the lower half of the clip, kind of like a water reflection. So make sure you're in the program window so you can see your mask boundaries. You can drag your mask down to the bottom portion of your text and you can just expand it out so that it covers the entire thing. Just make sure this polygon kind of fits over the bottom of your text. And then you can adjust the strength and the size and the amount of displacement and even the complexity will kind of make it more ripply and in this way I've kind of just distorted the bottom of the text and this can create a cool like dipped in water ripple effect along with all of the other effects you use so I'm just rendering in and out preview and you can see it's got this awesome um, water reflection effect as if we're looking at the horizon and part of the text is sticking out another idea you could do is stacking this effect one more time. So maybe just throwing another turbulent displace or a, a wave warp on top of the whole thing and then setting that new effect just a little bit less, like very slow, let's say like 0.2 and very weak so that you don't see too much ripple. So maybe just like a wave height of one or two, maybe just one. In this way, we've created a the bottom portion rippling, but then also maybe just a very gentle movement of the other portion if you wanted that, that extra touch. So this is just one example of how you can use this with a mask. But if you enjoyed this video, my name is Justin Odisho. You can check out a bunch of other tutorials on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.